Hi everyone, my name is Simon Lalem Siema Shangpliang. I am from the state of Mizoram. I got a J advanced rank of about 9000 and um, I got a category rank of 66. And in J mains, I got uh, about 99.1 percentile and I got a category rank of 38. And I am an NTSC scholar. I was the class 12 state board topper and I was also the class 10 state topper. So actually in the state of Mizoram, like mm, most people haven't even heard about what JE is and most people don't even know what IIT is. So like we don't, we are not aware of the fact that there are preparation for these exams. So like in Mizoram, like mm, we have very few co like offline coaching centers and even like co there are no places where we can actually prepare for JE. So, Online coaching was like the only option for most of us. And in terms of affordability, I think online coaching is much cheaper as compared to even the few offline classes there. They are like very far from our, even from our schools. So like most people who go there are droppers. Like class 11, 12 students, they never go coaching in Mizoram. So we were searching for a lot of uh, online coaching centers. So. Eventually, after deciding with my parents, we came to decide that Vedantu was the best option for us. So after doing the demo classes, I decided to go with Vedantu and I joined the pro-life course. And so the teachers were like amazing there. Initially, we, had, we joined the normal batches. And then after giving the benchmark test, we eventually got into the elite batches. And we were also given our personal teacher, like in every part of our journey, we could contact them. Even up to now, we are contacting them for like colleges and all the decisions. And like the books were really helpful. I mean, even the teachers in the elite batches always recommended that we follow the Tatwa books. And some like gave us ad additional materials, but then like the Tatwas were very pretty sufficient for the exam. Most of my doubts were solved uh, like in the when we ask from the Vedantu app, we can also ask the doubts and even our teachers, they had doubt sessions like almost every Saturday. So like we could easily clear our doubts. So like most people, yeah, I have already said that they start preparing from class after class 12. So after seeing my journey, I mean like many students like from our junior batches, they are coming and asking me what should I do, which coaching should I join and like they probably got answers for how should they should prepare and all from my journey. People from even Mizoram, they, they, they tend to believe that to get into IITs uh, you have to send them to uh, Kota, you have to send them to somewhere offline but then after seeing my experience many are opting for online classes at the comfort of their own home. Oh uh, yeah, I had many issues like distraction. Like uh, sometimes we tend to get into a bad habit of watching YouTube and playing games. Like there were major distractions in our study time, but then you have to discipline yourself to the most of your abilities. I mean, even if you have a phone, you can use many apps that can like avoid you from doing these things and getting these distractions. My distractions were mainly watching YouTube videos. So. What I did was, um, in my browser, I actually installed some kind of uh, extension for blocking YouTube. So I could not watch YouTube, I could not do anything. That was like a thing for me. I would say uh, it totally depends on like uh, the person, but then um, for most people, I think you have to study at least eight hours minimum, uh, like every day for this uh, exam, especially if you like uh, want to pursue uh, even better ranks, I think you should study more. I started my preparation from class 12. In class 11, I, I did not know most of the concepts. So after class 12, like uh, when we had the revision classes for class 12 going, I had to prepare side by side for class 11. And that was not only the major problem because I was taking also biology in my class 12. 
So I had even to study for casual boards. Before the JE mains exam, we revised about two times, I think, from the JE team and the Eglavia team, yeah. And mm, for the JE advance, uh, the teachers had classes like almost every day. So those were the things that I did, yeah. I might have probably started from class 10 or at least uh, 11. So uh, I would have uh, like no problems in class 12, like studying class 11 all over again. Actually, uh, I think a le learning mistake for me was I was watching too many lectures and solving uh, less questions. So I think for even, especially for maths, you should solve a lot of problems in the JE exam because there is very little time and you have to solve everything in a short span of time. So I would say solve questions and not only watch lectures. I would like to tell you that like, if I can achieve it from the rural part of India, like from Northeast, you can also do it. Yeah, and uh, this, while preparing, I mean, you should start the preparation very early. Don't start after class 12. And I think you should be consistent in your studies. You should, uh, especially for JE, I think, um, you need to focus on your boards and your class uh, JE as well. So I would say try your best, work hard, and like uh, make your community proud. Thank you.